What's the idea of jumping me and kicking dirt in my face? Oh, the dirt was an accident. Cal here, he's just a hot-headed fool. Well, I guess that settles it, Lofty. Let's go on back to town. She worked with everybody. It was a great, great pleasure to work with her and to know her. And only did three shows, but uh, I never forgot her. It was great. Let's talk about the Gene Autry produced show, Annie Oakley. I think you shot two of those back to back, and that okay. might have been in the lower paying days of your the stage of your Let's career. Let's say, I, I'm not sure I can talk about Gene's acting ability, but he sure as hell knows how to count money. <laughs> <laughs> this, this man was superb, hell of an actor. <laughs> I should say he's a hell of an entertainer. Yes. That's what yeah. he did. And boy, he did it in spades. Uh, but you never wanted to work with him, sports fans. <laughs> I did the one, and I did three of them, but three in a row. <laughs> I was not very bright. Well, well, my old friends, Ned and Cal. Is that it? You still the Bain brothers? We're the Collins brothers now. We found it more uh, convenient when we took over the old Miller ranch. Don't tell me you've turned ranchers. Sure have. Mm -hmm. Uh, since when do peaceful ranchers conceal their extra hardware? They're just a habit. I understand. It was so busy, I think I changed wardrobe. We called them costumes then, because that's <laughs> what it was. I think 47 times, I'm not sure, in one show. So that when we went to the second, when I told the agent, to hell with us arguing about price, charge him a dollar for every change. <laughs> <laughs> I made a fortune out of the picture. Uh, but we, we got it done when all of <laughs> Pardon me, yes, okay. Yeah, and, you know, and Gail Davis, so many, I was in love with Gail Davis. What Who would doing? not be. Oh, what a doll, just, what is it? It's just one of those nice people, no matter under what circumstances. If she was working hard, she was nice. If she came to work at three o'clock in the morning, she was nice. She was just a nice person and she did her job. Thanks, Annie. She worked with everybody. Uh, it was a great, great pleasure to work with her and to know her. It only did three shows, but uh, I never forgot her. It was great. Tag Oakley, that didn't sound like so long to me. What have you got in that jacket? Come on, Tag, let's see. Oh, Tag, you got rid of the wart just like Don said you would. What in the world do you want with another toad? My turtle got lonesome. <laughs> well, I know when I'm late. <laughs> Come on. You did, it seems like, as I was going through your credits, just Both of them? Just about every <laughs> Western series. The Tales of Wells Fargo, Wyatt Earp, The Rebel. Uh, Klondike with James Coburn. Nobody ever talks about that. What do you remember about Klondike? <laughs> uh, Klondike, oh yes. Uh, where, where is this show called Klondike going to be? What's it about? It's up in the north, the, the Yukon. Snow, right, all this junk. Well, it was that for the first four shows. And then the fifth when we came to work and we were in a convertible and it was in Beverly Hill, still called Klondike. <laughs> and then uh, about three shows later, we were someplace else. I've forgotten where it was. And then about one show later, we were canceled. I wonder so, why. <laughs> <laughs> who is a better actor than Jimmy Cobra? There are not many. He couldn't pour. It's amazing that the, the dialogue we had. Uh, William Conrad was one of the producers, one of the great actors of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, but the dialogue was... That's uh, not too nice. Uh, <laughs> but Klondike in Beverly Hills just doesn't fly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a Klondike bar, perhaps. It Matt was a candy, been, some candy. Or a theater with uh, exceedingly cold air conditioning. Now, uh, right. now, Coburn, you got to work with Coburn again in Major Dundee. And it features one of the finest casts ever assembled for a Western. Charlton Heston, Richard Harris, James Coburn, Jim Hutton. Michael Anderson Jr., Santa Berger, Ben Johnson, Warren Oates, Brock Peters, Slim Pickens, Duff Taylor, R.G. Armstrong, and me, L.Q. Jones. 
he was a very quiet man. Uh, he was not hail well met, although he was very friendly. Uh, but he worked out what he wanted to do. He knew when he came to work what he wanted to do and how to do it. And even Peckinpah couldn't get in his way. Uh, he was dedicated to what he did. I don't think there was ever, ever a better actor in our business than James Cole. He could just do it all, but he did it his way. And uh, I've been lucky. I've worked with, what is it, 113 movies and something between four and 500 television shows. And so you get a chance to work with people. John McIntyre, uh, Keith, uh, both of them. Uh, I've just been lucky to work with everybody. And when you look at somebody like Colbert and you watch him, you realize what the business is really all about. Mm -hmm. Well, the camera sure loved him and he knew what to do with the camera. It didn't make any difference. He did it and did it well. I didn't sign on to go chasing after no homesick soldier boys. Let's talk just a minute about Ben Johnson, too, because Ben <laughs> just was the most natural actor and horseman of, of anybody. And everybody loved working with Ben. Ben just liked to hang out on set. <sighs> Uncle Ben. That's, uh, yes, uh, it, he could ride the inside of a horse. It didn't make any difference. <laughs> <laughs> He came out into the business because he, Ford had bought some horses from his dad and they were shipping them out to Hollywood. And Ben was working for his dad, like most kids did, a uh, big paycheck, $18 a month. Whether he, you know, it wasn't really bad. That was it, food and clothes. Now he's working for $500 a week. So it's a little bit different. But I got, got to, <laughs> excuse me, I got to tell you the Ben Johnson story of all time. He won the roping title in the rodeo circuit. Stopped, stopped doing pictures and he hit the rodeos with the roping. And they asked him to come to the Calgary Stampede. You know what I'm talking about? The uh, biggest, one of the biggest the rodeos biggest. in the world. And so he's introduced, he said, he's in the chute, he's going to come out and rope. And he said the announcer would not shut up. He kept, I said, I was the thing I was the greatest thing since sliced bread. Uh, I was a, a mixture of Clark Gable and Spencer Tracy. Uh, I had good legs. Uh, everything. He said, I kept going slower and lower in the saddle. And he kept talking. Finally, shut up. And they turned the calf loose, and they both they hit the barrier right on time. Ben said, I laid my, my line out and damn near missed the ground. I poured the second one real quick, did it, and I hit the same place. Nothing. And I get thunderous applause. <laughs> and I ride out of the thing with the big farewell, and I, I get out in the back, and I look over here about a couple of hundred feet away. There's a little stand where they're selling cold drinks, candy, and stuff. So I said, God, God I use a little help. And he's riding across there. And he said, you know how you kind of get the feeling somebody's watching you? And I said, I looked around, and uh, uh, no, that's weird. And so, okay, and it just kept riding a little further, and I went a little further, and I, somebody's watching me. And I, you know, nobody's there. And I looked down, here's the little kid. It's about six or seven years old, standing, holding on to the saddle. And so he said, I, I brushed my hat back. I gave him that big Ben Johnson grin, and I looked at him, and the kid said, how in the hell did you ever get to be a world's champion? <laughs> <laughs> ben said I looked around, I was going to get off and stomp him into the ground. <laughs> so anytime I got to thinking I was somebody, that's what I said to myself. How in the hell did you get to be? <laughs> so I'm sorry. No, nope, don't be. We love having you here. LQ Jones has done such a broad range of films. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. One and all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is great. Thank you. I am 
Rob Word. Thanks for watching A Word on Westerns. It's the only regularly scheduled talk show devoted to Western films. We talk to Western filmmakers, actors, and actresses only for people like me and like you. So if you like it, subscribe right here, and we'll see you next time.